Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to a very special F1 Manager 2022 video. In today's video, I am going to show you how to change your team uh, mid-save. You don't have to start a new save for this. It does involve uh, downloading um, a, a coding program called Python. Completely safe. I used it a lot at university um, when I was doing a maths degree. So it is so legit um, I will leave all the links to the stuff you require down below in the description below but um, it is something that could interfere with your save I don't know how it will affect saves uh, later down the line so just a disclaimer here it might break your save so what I would recommend doing is saving another copy of your save if you like so um, as you can see obviously I've just done four seasons with Aston Martin if you've been following that series great if not check it out um, we will be starting with our new team McLaren later on so that is what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be showing you how to turn my um, Aston Martin save into a McLaren save so you can see I've done it before just to check it worked I did it back in October um, but you can see here uh, I have two saves now I've got one that uh, I saved right at the end of the season um, and one that I saved a little bit closer to the end of the season. So it's going to be this most up-to-date version that I'm going to use to essentially change into a McLaren save and then from there, fingers crossed, uh, we will be able to enjoy the rest of the save. So first thing you will need to do is head to uh, Python and um, essentially get yourself uh, a new save. So I am using uh, a script by somebody called, uh, oh, I don't know what his, what his name is now. This uh, Ta Takare, Takare. So there you go. So I'm using his or their, I don't know if it's a he, uh, their script for Python. And there's lots of things you can do with this. You can change your team. You can edit the DRS strength. You can edit grip levels. You can shuffle the calendar if you want to, shuffle the engines, or, uh, performance, anything like that. Um, you can also do sprint races and, 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 and all of that nonsense. I'm not really going to mess with too much of that, certainly in our first season with McLaren, but maybe going on further down the line uh, that's what we will be doing so the first thing that you need to do is uh, this one here uh, not my YouTube analytics page you need to uh, go to Python and it will require uh, basically the latest version of Python so you just sort of click that um, download it and install it on, on your computer as you normally would now because I've already went through that step I'm not going to show that bit um, but I just went for sort of default uh, installation there wasn't really a, a, any difficulty in doing that so yeah just download python get that installed and then you need to be uh, click the second link in the description which is the script files and uh, this takes you to basically a how-to guide obviously this is video form i think reading it it can be a little bit confusing um, but the, the the first thing you have to do is extract the contents of this download. So basically, I would just uh, go into the code, uh, download the zip, and you can see a little file will be created at the, the bottom of your screen if you're using Google Chrome. So uh, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to head over to my file explorer, show you where that is um, in your downloads and how you would therefore extract something to another folder. So let's go and have a little look at that right now uh, so let's get my file explorer up this is this is all great you know you know me i'm uh, always prepared i'll make myself a little bit smaller um but you can see i've got all sorts of downloads here on the left um you know thumbnails and whatever uh, you can see i'm a maths teacher so i've got maths resources in there as well um but your computer should have a default uh, zipping device uh, a compressed zip file so all i did with that is um double clicked on it uh copied and pasted and found the specific folder uh, on the c drive so to to get that you need to go into this pc onto your c drive or wherever um your games are installed uh, then you will need to go to users pick yourself uh, and you'll notice some of these are uh, greyed out a little bit so I, I believe to uh, open those up you need to go into uh, properties and um, 
and then basically get rid of hidden hidden files uh, I believe um, to get rid of that so if I apply that uh, oops I don't I, I don't know we don't we don't want to be doing that with that um, that should be fine so it, you, you want to see your hidden files basically that's absolutely fine um, we can get rid of that that's okay so then you go into uh, app data then local uh, <laughs> you can see how much I'm buttering this onto F1 manager 22 then save games uh, save games again and then you can see them all here so what I would advise you to do just to work out which of your saves is labeled what it's just sorted by uh, date modified so you don't want to touch the auto save file but you can see save two there is the one that I created at uh, one minute past four on the 3rd of January so it's save two that I want to convert into a McLaren save if you like so at this point I then want to go into my script script manager so I'm going to double click on script manager and that should open up a file uh, which I will now bring over to the other side um, you can see it, it is detecting all of my saves I want to change team and I want to do that to save two okay so that's what I want to do I then need to change the argument and um, so we choose a, a new team by typing its name into the argument so we now want to type in McLaren uh, make sure you spell that correctly and then in theory you should just be able to run the script I am going to just double check that that is um, correct I think they have um, put some examples on the script runner uh, edit team yes yeah, so McLaren is just McLaren you might have to be a little bit more careful with Alpha Tauri or Alpha Romeo or whatever uh, so then I just press run script and it says successfully change player team if you now uh, click that off and return to your game you should find that everything is back in order so uh, let's get my ugly mug back on there we now uh, head into Lord Korea and hit uh, save 2 which was this one here and click load game fingers crossed that will now turn us into a McLaren team and there you go you have now got McLaren as your team you can see both drivers out of contract that is where we're going to pick it up next time out but you are in charge of McLaren now what I have noticed is that the calendar on the right hand side seems to break a little bit but everything else should be in order I don't I don't know if the if the calendar will fix itself but you can see all of my um info from the Aston Martin boys is in there uh, in the inbox so we can see all of that we can see Oscar Piastri but if I go into drivers you can see I am with McLaren um, Logan Sargent is in there as our reserve driver you can see all of the staff is in there as well um, we have 8 million in the bank um, don't know if those finances transfer from the Aston Martin days or not uh, if I go into car parts developments you can see that McLaren are doing absolutely nothing, which is what I would expect at this stage. If you go into research, you should be able to see what they've done. Um, they have done a bit of chassis research, a bit of front wing research, but they haven't touched rear wing, side pods, underfloor, um, and they've only done one on the suspension. So really cool. You know, this is totally different to uh, what we had over in the um, in the other save with with Aston Martin you can see all of the results are still in there so uh, let's pick the Sao Paulo race for instance you can see we are now very much McLaren's manager even though we were uh, Lewis Hamilton and Carlos Sainz in that series now uh, one thing I don't know is is our profile how that goes um, you can see season best constructors finish seventh best drivers finish 10th so um we lose our history but i'm not particularly bothered about that um obviously we have it all on youtube for me uh but you could create yourself a little a little spreadsheet or something to keep all of those results and that history in there but there you go it's as easy as that you download a couple of files you shove them in um in into another folder and uh 
run the script manager and it seems to it seems to do some magic and and get us into uh, a mclaren universe but uh yeah hope you've enjoyed that hopefully you found that helpful and uh, do let me know if you do have any questions or, or anything um down below in the comment section below uh as I say, I'm not an expert in these things, and you've seen I, I didn't do a perfect run-through of it, but hopefully the visual representation of how to do it uh, came across, and uh, this will help you choose a new team in F1 Manager. But if you have enjoyed that, uh, give it a big thumbs up. If it has helped you, give a big thumbs up as well. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos. We will be starting our McLaren journey on Monday, the what 9th of January looking forward to it hopefully you guys are too i'll see you then enjoy <laughs>